What's up? Today, it's a beautiful sunny day and we are going to change the oil in the Chevy. Things I got, fuel filter, a new funnel because I am ghetto and I usually just cut a water bottle. That's nice to have from here on out. And a plug, the new gasket. So I have an itty bitty oil leak and it is likely due to the fact that my gasket's bad. No idea when the oil was changed last on this. I assume maybe when the new engine was put in and that was four years ago. So I highly, highly doubt it's been changed since then. I'm just gonna show you in a roundabout way um, how to go about doing this. So stay tuned. All right, I already have a catch can down here because of the small oil leak. Um, and when I say small, I mean it's like drops, but I really didn't want that on my driveway after that happened right there. So trying to avoid that by putting that there, and I just put this there just in case. What I'm gonna do first is I'm going to undo the drain plug and drain it all into my catch can. Oh, I don't wanna get it anywhere, oh my gosh, okay. So this truck has been lowered, I believe, a little bit, so it's kind of hard to squeeze in here. I think this is the right size. Yeah. Okay. Okay, this is going to be hard to get up. Eventually. Okay, I just got it loose. So I'm going to... Oh, this is gonna get all over my hands. All right, well, that didn't get all over my hands, but it got on my hands. So the oil is coming out, and as soon as that is done, I'll let you know. Okay, so it's still draining out right now. I'm gonna let that do that for a little while longer. It's super slow, but I'm gonna let that happen. Needless to say, I got it all over my hands, but you know what? YOLO. So I'm gonna let that do its thing for a little while and then uh, check it here in a second. And as soon as it's done, I'll get the uh, gasket out and I'll show you what it looked like. All right, so new plug, new gasket, old plug, old gasket. This to me, I mean, it just kind of looks like a washer unless where you can kind of see that silver, unless that was the gasket part. Um, I mean, this is either wore out or just not right. Make sure those are the same size. Yep. All right, so out with the old and in with the new. I will let the oil drain a little bit more and then I'm gonna put this in. All right, so next thing is next. I went ahead and got the plug back in and we're gonna do the filter now. And really all that is is unscrewing the one that I showed you a second ago and screwing this new one back on. All right, so now that I got the filter off, which that was kind of hard. I had to move from my stomach to my back a couple times. And with the truck being lower, you can't just do that under the truck. I had to get out and not a big deal though. So now that I have the old filter off, I am going to open my oil and I'm gonna just dip my finger in it and put some around the, I guess the lip or the gasket. So it's gonna help with any kind of leaking and anything like that supposedly. Don't know the science behind it, but I'm doing it because I was told to. All right, so now I'm gonna get under the car and I'm gonna put the uh, new filter back on exactly how I took off the old one. Again, you can't really see me doing it. You just put it exactly where you got the old one off. It's not hard, so I'm gonna do that real quick. All right, now that I have the filter in, I have the new gasket and plug in, I'm gonna fill it up with oil now. So over here, you'll see a cap that says engine oil fill. So pretty self-explanatory, you just take it off. I actually took this off before I released the drain or I took the drain plug out. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the camera up. I'm gonna go get the funnel and the new oil. So one thing to note, every vehicle takes a different amount of oil. Most times the Auto supply store will be able to uh, tell you. Uh, sometimes they won't. So the oil he suggested, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this, is high mileage 5W30. It's O'Reilly's blend, I trust them. So this is the one that he suggested, this is the one that I went with. So we're gonna pour this in slowly. I'm gonna pour a little bit at a time. God, I don't wanna spill this. You know what I think I'm gonna do from keep from spilling it? I'm gonna put it in a smaller cup and then I'm just gonna pour it in uh, cup by cup till this jug is a little less top heavy. And I'm just gonna, which I can see the plug from right here, but well, I don't see anything leaking. Okay, we're just making sure. See when it starts going fast, that's when it starts flipping out and just like making a stream way above what you're meaning to hit. 
the good thing about O'Reilly's, which I freaking spilt some right here, which is just really irritating. I tried to get it off as quick as I could. And I've been super, super careful with everything down there, not to spill any, and then I freaking spill some when I grab the brand new thing of oil. We'll just let that do whatever it's gonna do. Um, the good thing about O'Reilly's, what I was getting at a second ago, is if you take this and you take your old motor oil and I fill this up with it, you can actually take it to O'Reilly's and they'll dispose of it for you. So that's good to know as well for future reference. I am finished. Let's see, I have the new drain plug with the new gasket. Check, I can see it right there. Nothing's leaking out. I have the new filter out, or the old filter out, new filter in, nothing's leaking. And I just finished putting five quarts of oil, um, high mileage oil in this. That was an oil change on my 1985 C10 Silverado. It has the 5.7 liter uh, 350 motor in it. And we just did an oil change. Yeah, that is it. Thank you for watching.